Right, now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the ability to import and apply post slugs. You may wish to import old post data and existing post slugs that have been used before and therefore you rebuild uh, a URL and prevent having too many broken URLs on your, your domain. You may wish to create pre-made slugs for the purpose of SEO. You might be reducing the, the size of the slug the original slug base that would be based on your post title. So if your post titles are very long and contain numbers and so on, you may want to reduce that and you've created your own slug. So whatever the case, this is how you do it. You come to the EasyCSV Import Advanced Settings screen, come down to post name and select your column that contains your slugs. In my case I've named it permalink and you'll also see here the label has post name and then bracket slug permalink and that's simply because over the years I've had different users refer to a slug in different ways so there's a little confusion there sometimes and I've just I've just added them in there just to grab attention um, but the the main name for it the technical name for it is post name and the the name that, that users will see it as the human name is slugs it's a post slug and let me just go up and show you exactly what I mean, just a little bit of education here I'll just click add new I'll put my test what we have here when I click on this box, everything in this one field here is a slug, that is a slug the, the permalink is a wider structure that can include far more than just a slug and that wider structure, longer structure or whatever is the, the URL that may be seen by visitors and used to visit your actual post itself. The slug, the slug value is stored in the database in a column called post names. So that's where post names come from, that's the technical the technical term for it. And that's that, alright? So it's, it's, it's straightforward once you, you, you hear that. Now, the important thing to do here is just delete this post. I like, I like there to be no posts in the list. And we're going to go to the post names project, I think it was. We'll go to advanced settings and confirm that the post names has the post names option has been saved so I've selected permalinks that was already saved I have a project here called WTG test post names I only test post names in it obviously so when I create a post there will be no content things like that there's actually a little message indicating that you know like as if there's a fault but there's not a fault uh, I'll just show you what I mean so I've created a post I'm coming to post click edit Here's a here's little message, and that's simply because I've deleted this project's template. I don't need that as, as we're really focusing on the slug up here. Now, the slug is some information hyphen 2, and that's basically what's in my data. Right, so instead of applying 1A as a slug, I've imported an existing slug and, and made use of that. 